Hi, this is Chris Kangat with the AFL-CIO. I'm about to start a training for you on how to log into your new Union Hall website tool. You will have received an email from the AFL-CIO letting you know that it's okay for you and it's time to log into your new Union Hall website. When you get that, go ahead and click on the link in the email and it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. It's asking for your username or email address. Go ahead and type in your email address because it's going to shoot you an email with a new password link. So let's go back to uh, my email and check out the email I should have just received. There it is, my Union Hall demo login link. So now it's going to allow me to click here to log into my new site. It says reset password. This is a one-time login for me, um, and it tells me when it will expire. So go ahead and click on the button. Um, and basically, it's allowing, there's my information and my email address, and it's allowing me to create a password. Okay. Um, and at this point, there's a few other things I can do, but let's just focus on saving the password. Um, and now it brings me to a page that looks something like this. This is actually my, what's considered my dashboard. If you look up here on uh, the uh, top right-hand corner, you can see that I'm on the dashboard for Chris Kendai. And here it shows the spaces that I'm a member of. Right now it's showing the demo state fed. So this is my demo site for my state fed. I also have a demo site for CLCs as well. Um, I'm just showing the demo state fed right now. Uh, and so another thing that you can do while you're in here is you can check out your profile. Um, you can log out, um, you can view activities and a few other things. Uh, but let's just take a quick tour of your website while you're here. Um, I'm, I could click on this and go straight to my demo state fed site, so I'll go ahead and do that. So here I am, this is my demo site. Uh, and so when you log in, it'll have a link directly to your website as well. One of the first things you might want to do is click on the star or, or make sure you save your site so it's easy for you to get back to your website. The name will be up here, um, which whatever the site is, and we can work with you on creating the right URL for your organization. We can talk about what, what options are available to you. Once you've logged in for the first time, there are a couple ways that you can get back to logging in. First, let's scroll all the way to the bottom of our site. At the very bottom of every site, and hopefully you can see this, uh, it says login. So if I click that, it'll bring me back to the login page. I'll just go ahead and do that. In this case, I'm already logged in, uh, so I can see my name and some of the activity that's happened today. Um, but if I just want to go back to, my, back to my home page, I can just simply come up here to where it says Demo State Fed and click on it. And this will bring me right back to my home page. Uh, anytime you click on this, it's, it's like clicking the Home button. It'll bring you right back home. So again, one way to log in after the first time is to come down here to the Login option. And another way to log in is to go to a, just go to um, unionhall.aflcio.org. That's unionhall.aflcio.org. And I'll do that for you quickly. There it is already. For, so unionhall.aflcio.org. And when I hit Enter, it will bring me back to uh, the top tier of my page. For you, it will probably just say whatever the name of your organization is. For me, because I'm a, I'm a member of several sites, um, it'll bring me here, and uh, let me just come over here to log in real quick. Uh, actually, I'm going to do the CLC instead of the state fed. So now I'm actually on my demo CLC site, because this is the one I want to quickly do a, a loop training for you on. So we don't want to make these trainings too long. We're going to have a series of them so that you can uh, watch the individual trainings in a matter of minutes. Uh, to kind of learn how to do everything. I'll definitely have more advanced trainings, and you can find all of our trainings on aflcio.org slash training. But let's just take a quick run through of what you're going to see on your site on one of the first times you log in. Uh, first of all, the name of your site will be up here. Uh, your information will be over here in the left-hand corner, and again, you can edit your profile if you need to. Below that um, is going to be a banner for the AFLCIO. Um, this is sort of our section, or any of the national unions will have a small banner at the very, very top. We'll have a link to Union Plus, and the reason we have that is so that um, our union members uh, can find access to all the benefits they get for being a union member. 
And in this case, we, we have a link to Election 2016, which is our labor website, uh, uh, Labor 2016 website, where they can get all kinds of information about state and national elections. Then we'll have uh, your name will be across the top. In my case, it's Demo CLC. You will be able to upload a uh, logo here as well if you have one, and we can work with you on that to make sure it's the right size and the right quality so that it shows up nicely. Over to the uh, right, I will have a whole training, just uh, very short because it's, it's not hard to add these, uh, but a very short training on how to add your social properties here. Um, I just have two, but there's actually you know five, about five of them. We have a search box, and then we have the menu bar. And I just want to say for the menu bar, the AFL-CIO is really trying to help guide you uh, towards having a best practice um, web presence. And one of those is having a very neat, clean website with very few uh, uh, links so that it's not hard for people to quickly get around and find where they are. So while we ch chose these, you can definitely add uh, one or two more. I would, I would recommend not adding more than two, really, um, if you need to. Uh, but you can also add drop downs here so, you can, so people can find additional information uh, to any of these. So hopefully you won't need more than uh, too many more than just these five here. Uh, but if you do, um, you can add them, add more information as a drop down, or you can just add a couple more uh, um, menu options. Below that is what we call the hero image, um, and the hero hero image um, is a rather large image, and so it has to be a certain quality. And we will uh, upload into the system um, a couple options for you, so you can choose a different hero image. You can also create your own hero image and add it. To, uh, your site as well. And we can certainly help you choose the right image, make sure it's the right quality. So if you do want to upload a different um, hero image, you know, you can let us know what you're thinking about. We can take a look at that for you. And I keep saying, you know, let us know. Again, I'm going to say this over and over again. Please send any questions uh, to unionhall at aflcio.org. Unionhall at aflcio.org. But along with the, he the hero image is just some quick text about what's going on and then join the cause. Um, this will link to an action-oriented site. You can change this link um, if you want to. Right now it's going to our Labor 2016 page where people can join the cause, but you can switch that out. But I highly recommend switching it to a page that has some kind of form, whether it's a petition or a letter to state and local legislators. But I would definitely make join the cause something that links to uh, an action. Below that, we do have an email capture. It's a quick way for people to join your list. And it will go into your Action Network chapter. Uh, I would definitely test this. You can put a fake email in or a real one and then sign up and then log back into your Action Network chapter to make sure uh, that it did come and, and was, it did end up there. If it didn't, please let us know. We, we really want to hear if you come across any problems. Um, and we can work with you on that. Now, I will say that um, if you don't have an Action Network chapter or don't know what I'm talking about, talking about, please send an email to unionhall at aflcio.org and let us know. And we can work with you on getting you set up and trained. Uh, below that is going to be, um, these are called um, featured uh, stories here, featured articles. Uh, featured articles stay to the top, and they must have either an image or a video at, to be in this place. Otherwise, it'll be an article that falls lower down on the site uh, where there aren't, it's not required to have an image or a video. Off to the right, um, these are called um, promos. And promos are sort of action-oriented, but they promote uh, something that's going on locally or nationally. They're very easy to edit when you're logged in. You can just simply click on these buttons, but there's also a way to add them. Um, and, uh, and these are the ones that we put when we syndicated the content to you. Uh, but just know that you're, you're welcome to edit these to change them out as needed. Below that is a calendar. Uh, and this is hopefully you'll have time to populate your calendar with up and coming events. Um, there are ways to move this content around. So if you did feel like you wanted the calendar up higher, there are ways to do that. Um, over here to the left is the action area on your page. And again, you can move the action area up potentially if you need to. Um, but for now, it's, this is where we've placed it. Um, again, it goes, it, we really want to encourage people to uh, push people towards an action page. It's a petition or letters to state and local legislators, something that's a form and that you can capture their information and follow up with them. Um, again, we have more ne recent news that's, that's coming down from uh, as people add content. And then at the
very bottom we have the blog, um, the AFL blog. It's to help you uh, have constant flow of updated content, um, and so it'll be a list of our blog stories. Uh, below that, we have the AFL logo and some information about us, and we have our um, the menu bar again, um, and then the privacy policy and the terms of use, and the login link. Um, again, this login link will help you get logged in quickly. Um, and then down here at the very bottom, no matter where you are, as you're scrolling through the page, um, this will stay right here. And this is a way for you to create actions, articles, uh, basic pages, create biographies of your, um, of your officers, uh, create events that will go on your calendar. And the, I showed you the promo section. Uh, this is a great area um, to work with uh, to create all your stuff. And then up here is a few, few options as well. You've got your, um, this wheel here will help you um, navigate the site. It will help you edit and find content that you want to change, um, add users, um, and then a few other things. Um, we also have a, a way for you to kind of find your, your site. Again, within, um, if you're, some of us are members of many different, or we're administrators of many different sites. So it's a quick way to hop around and to know who your parent site is. And then there's an area that helps you, again, uh, focus on the members um, of your site, your managers, um, and a few other things. So I don't want to make this particular training long. I just wanted you to be able to log in and have a quick view, a quick tour of what, what's on your site. Uh, you're going to have to click on more videos uh, to view how to actually create some of these things uh, and do a more in-depth view of your site. But this is but welcome to your new Union Hall site. It will not go live until you're ready and you give us a thumbs up. And like I said, we're shooting for uh, September 19th to kind of finish people off on their, their old labor website and get completely moved over. So you definitely have time. And we'll work with you on your URLs and any questions you have. You can find more trainings and all of our trainings listed at aflcio.org slash training. And you can send all your questions to unionhall at aflcio.org. Thanks for joining us. And we really look forward to getting you started.